Alrighty. Let's see what we got going on. So uh here's the thing I gotta keep remembering that the the folks in the villas here have not been subscribed to the channel since I started, and so there's a lot of topics that I forget. I thought I covered them, but it was like at another project. So we are in, let's just see what is a normal condition. In this uh, villa, we have put the trim in tile in. <clears throat> and trim carpentry one has begun. Uh, we are stocked with the cabinets. And this is scheduled to be installed tomorrow. So what does it look like? What's really going on here? More stuff. Now, those are lighting packages. Here's common. <clears throat> Hole in the drywall. Guess what? From the doorknob. Uh, I'm ex I was expecting this door jam to be beat up a little bit more with smudges with these boxes going in there, but it's not so bad. We have uh, discoloration of the paint. We have a drywall booger right there. Everything I'm going to point out is normal. We have uneven drywall in texture. I'm sorry, finishing in there. We have a drywall booger line. See what else we can find. Um, all messy drywall up ours. Let's see. I guess what I'm trying to say, we got outlets covered in mud. <clears throat> Big gobs of mud in there, normal. And, uh, Check it out here, Synergy guy did a low vault here. Uh, we got little scrapes there, we got two holes there. Some drywall boogers down around here. There's a big old drywall booger right down there. Uh, where else here? We're uneven with the drywall, uh, not drywall, drywall to the latex caulk to the baseboard. So, <clears throat> Drywall booger. Booger, 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 booger. That'll need to be scraped, retextured. Actually, this ain't too bad. Ah, trim carpenter, when he put the door up, little scratching of the wall. Normal. Ah, uh, there's a bug. Uh, we've got drywall mud on the frame of this shower. It'll come off. Let me just see here. Ah, that's enough. It'll come off. <clears throat> we got a mess in here is what I'm trying to say, and this is normal. This is totally normal. See, uh, drywall and painter guy come back five more times. Um, let's see. We got a caulk right there at the sill in the window frame. So, even though I say it's painted, well, this is what we call paint one. They come five times. Uh, we got holes in the drywall ceiling because the rough end Synergy man had the wires coming through those holes. <clears throat> the trim out guy says, no, I want the wire over here so I can put this cover. So he moved all three of the speaker wires to them uh, circles. So we had holes in the ceiling. No big deal. So at trim out, we gonna make, uh, we're gonna hit drywall. Oh, look at this big old drywall goober. Right, this is all normal. Thermostat wire didn't get covered up. 
So, let me see in here. Nothing crazy. The blue tape marks where we're going to need to add caulk, paint touch up, but that's not for today, tomorrow. There is no sense in having the painters come back today, tomorrow. We got to get cabinets in here. They could bump a wall. If they move those cabinets from the garage through here, they could bump the wall. Here come countertop. They're probably going to bring it in through the back. <clears throat> they could bump the wall. We got electric trim going to come. We got um, plumbing trim. He's going to be putting toilets in there, faucets. No, there's no reason to have drywall guy or paint guy come until after that stuff installed. So what we're looking at here is nowhere near a complete home. So all these cosmetic things at this point don't care about. Well, I can't say don't care. It's non it's not important at all right now. We have so many components to install. Um it's ridiculous to have the painters do perfection walls in drywall uh, touch and then go bump the walls when you put in the appliance. Uh, here comes the damn refrigerator, appliances, whatever's going in there. So after all those things are in, that is then when we start polishing up. <clears throat> but major construction wise, except for cabinet and countertop install, this is technically a finished structure. No, we don't have AC in, we don't have the uh, electric running. Um, but the structure itself is sound. Frame pass inspection is good to go. We got a hell of a lot of trim outs to do and then a hell of a lot of tightening up and polishing. And that will, once we get trimmed out, the whole balance of the rest of the build cycle is polishing. And uh, there are multiple inspections that go on from me doing a list of polishing to, and to our warranty people doing a list of polishing. And then when we do the pre close. So, anyway, that's all I got about that.